new to me, haven't worked on uh, VTL before. I'm focus on mills. It's a little bit of lathes, but here you can see this is our our new Mighty Viper, and it turns 63 inches in diameter. And for what we're doing, or what, the work we want to get into, um, it was a good addition to our shop. And I want to show how we got this fixture plate on here. We purchased this stock piece of material, um, got it flame cut to just over 63 inches. The table itself is uh, 45 uh, in diameter and I'm gonna walk through the the process here kind of show you so here's the the bare table it has slots for a four jaw but we're gonna be using the T slots and just grease it up don't want any uh, rust buildup and uh, obviously this plate had mill scale on it on both sides so we got it blanch your ground uh, clean it up and get a flat side for the table um, we're going to turn it later on, but you can see we have two bolts ready to go. We pre-machined two holes before we sent it to grind, uh, just so we have a starting point to mount onto the machine. And then we'll be adding additional holes to further clamp the fixture plate uh, to the table. So here I'm just aligning those two holes to the, the screw. I set the bolts uh, in a rough position that we had drawn out um, you know in the computer so I'm pretty happy I got that within 15 minutes of uh, kind of lining it up there and just gonna do a rough indication using a piece of wood here um, and a hammer don't want to strike the hammer directly onto the plate but um, just gonna you know take my time and uh, want to get it you know as close as I can like I said we're turning it um, but you can see I got it pretty close here within about three three and a half thou um, and so just gonna tighten those two bolts down and get it ready to pop the remaining holes there's gonna be a total of 12 12 bolts uh, holding this plate down we really want to secure it to the table this is what's going to be uh, obviously what our parts are going to be resting on um, so we want to make it one with the machine itself um, and so here I have the clearance uh, clearance drill for uh, three quarter ten bolts and you can see this is the the nuts the flange nuts that are going to be um, under the t-slot and I'm just kind of showing what it would look like the spacing so three bolts within each slot and there's four slots so just drilling that clearance hole again um, this is an inch and a half plate um, so I obviously zeroed out once my drill touched and um, I know how far I'm going I indicated the slot itself before uh, doing this so I know what where my slots are underneath the table and I know what you know when I rotate to my 90, 180, and 270, I'll know that I'm not drilling <laughs> directly into the table. And you can see you got a nice clean hole next to our pre-drilled and just gonna finish popping the holes in. And then we'll do the counter bores for the bolts themselves. So just making sure um, fits nicely. Is that that in mill, powder board in mill that we're gonna be using? And it's just a high speed still for fluid in mill, so um, not getting too crazy. You can see it gets real stringy with the chips but does the job, bolt fits in there nicely. And I'm gonna finish up all the counter bores um, and get all the holes in.
so you can see. Got it all done, got the bolts in there. And I lined up my, my nuts under, and this is, uh, the, you know, kind of the cool part of getting onto the table. And of course, the GoPro decided to die. So, moving on. Now we, uh, I, I did get it bolted, <laughs> all bolted down evenly to the table, and just getting our our insert our insert holder here into the turning holder. Um, just quick little montage of putting the, the insert in there and, you know, just a quick facing program. Uh, nothing too crazy, obviously, for the capabilities of this machine, but uh, just want to get it, obviously, the, the plate squared to the machine and and uh, get it ready for, for fixturing, you know, fixturing up our parts.